You know it's the most fun because it's your true and only... It's your true and only suggested it. I literally have zero idea on what the other games are. Well, that's what makes them interesting. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, I, I'm excited to do more Spectral Mall. So far, every single game in Spectral Mall has been a banger. Um, I, I, none of them have been like cheap horror games. They've all been pretty interesting. I really liked Gob. I gotta say, Gob, Gob really spoke to me on a very deep level. <laughs> I loved it so much, and I really want more of that game. Um, so, the Bimple talking for the microwave beams. <laughs> all the OG fallouts are 2.5. Um, so... I regret bringing this up, but uh, let's, let's talk about it. Uh, we talked about what game would Bimple, what, what Bimple should play um, if he was going to play a Fallout game. I can't believe I'm like almost committed to talking in third person now. Is that is that bothering anyone? Should I stop that? <laughs> um, I don't think I have the... DLC for any of the fallouts? Should I pick them up? Did you play Armacrog since you love Neverhood so much? I haven't played Armacrog. Um, I don't know if I if this is really the best space for it. I know I know we talked a little bit about it, uh, Faust, but I, I have kind of stayed away from uh, he who should not be named uh, stuff, which is a shame, but I, I am not a person who can necessarily separate the art from the artist. Uh, i you know, much respect to those who can, but it's it's not my bag. And and uh, Mr. Doug did did very much ruin uh, his work for me. I'm afraid. I'm, I'm sorry to say. And he was a very large uh, admirer of his stuff. In fact, I have one of his sketchbooks. And and to add to that, two original paintings of Mr. Tenaple's uh, work. I have two original paintings of his, yes, actually. And uh, it's just, it all feels like ash in my mouth at this point. So, Bimple talking in the third person does not bother Mimesis. That's good. Uh, that was a different game collection. Uh, the collected, yeah, that was a different collection. That was the Dread X collection. Uh, I'm a 10. You are a, the authority on the Spectral Mall. Would you like to suggest the next game for us? Also does not bother Sock. That's good. I didn't know he actually did Armacrog. I thought it was the rest of the team. It was, um, if there was the rest of the team and, uh, working on Armacrog, it, uh, he just felt like the poster child for it. Like, Doug really felt like you know the 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 first and foremost person involved on Armacrog and let me let me be straight here I know this is kind of a spicy topic I really do love his art um as an artist I I respect and admire Doug on many levels and I, I aspired to be him in many ways but but god damn he just should have kept his mouth shut for real Some people are incapable. Like Bimple. Bimple speak. Bimple open mouth. Bimple open mouth wide. Look at how wide Bimple mouth can open. Ooh. Bimple say lots of spicy things about Fallout. Um, Give me a second, please. Yeah, no worries. We're talking. The Sock. Uh, what was that? Was it literally The Sock on MTV? It's how I feel about John K. Dougie. I am. Um, I would be open to doing Neverhood on stream because I really do like that game. I've never actually beaten it. It's really hard. <laughs> it gets to such a degree of ridiculous difficulty in some of the puzzle solving that I just. I. I. I get stonewalled every time I try and play it. Every time I play it, I get a little bit farther. 
but man, is it impenetrable. He inspired my work, but I hate him. <laughs> yeah, fair. Yeah, same. Yo, high five, Faust. High five uh, for, for being inspired by people who uh, who are truly hateful. Feel free to play any game. They are all great. Okay. I've heard good stuff about North Star Courier. Oh. <laughs> Yo, we have fun here, don't we? Sorry, we're open. Let's do this one. Uh, now I'm curious what that man could have said to be so irredeemable. It's not, I mean, anyone is redeemable if they just admit that they're wrong and apologize and admit they're not in their, you know, they spoke out of turn, right? No one is capable of doing that, apparently. Sorry, we're open. As the new manager of your local supermarket branch, you'll be expected to manage your employees, tackle both the day and night shifts. Oh. Is this, is this FNAF? Are we finally playing FNAF? Remember your store's reputation and your employees' livelihoods are in your hands. Strobing, gore, language, violence, adult themes. Yes, Bimple has become the violence streamer. I still have no clue how a child me beat that without internet. Profile error occurred. What? Your profile cannot be used because it is from a newer version of JavaScript. Well, it seems to be working. Hold on, I know it's not capturing right now. Please capture. <clears throat> Please capture. I don't think it's working. Oh, it. In fact, oh, it, it no, I mean, it it is working. I just, it won't capture. I really don't like doing it. I really don't like doing display capture. Okay, let me um, reset transform. Bimple hates trans uh, display capture because Bimple always forgets that he has it, and then Bimple shows his email to chat. Bimple's email is not for chat. Okay. Photosensitivity. Oh, it's not streaming correctly. Why is it not streaming cor correctly? Why is that happening like that? Hold on, properties. That's weird. It's like it's transparent. Give me a second. Uh, window capture, let's try window capture. Oh, that's working. Okay, that worked. Okay, let's get rid of display capture. La la la, love, love troubleshooting stream. Okay, let's move that a little bit so the pumpkin's not in the way. And fit it in there. There we go. Looks good. How y'all doing? Uh, Babo Sangar. What? Never heard of that game? Just a bunch of jargon jumble. I'm going to scoot. See you later, Sock. Change filter. Ooh, that's kind of grimy. I, li I kind of like that. Let's let's go with that. Sorry, we're open is about making the most of your impending doom. You will not always be equipped for the encounters ahead, and escape may be the only viable option. You and your employees will die, and your progress and actions are permanent. The following gameplay assets are not final and are subject to change. This game supports an autosave feature.
Congratulations! And welcome to your new position as the manager of your local supermarket branch. In this informational video, we'll be covering what things to expect and outline your new responsibilities. First things first, here are some basic instructions. Remember, your store's reputation and your employees' livelihoods are in your hands. Before diving in, is this your first time as a manager? Yes. Oh, this, this, this is a bop right here. To keep you grounded with your employees, you'll be expected to experience the day shift, as they do, except through a screen. The day shift will include tasks such as restocking inventory, regular cleaning, customer service, and the like. Note that every decision you make here, it will either affect your employees or more importantly, your wallet. As the manager, you'll be expected to go above and beyond what is normally expected of a regular employee. Which is why your shift doesn't end when the sun goes down. In fact, it's just the beginning. But other than, other than that, the night shift is just like it is during the day except for a few minor differences. Just make sure not to fall asleep. And finally, as the livelihood of your store, aside from your own, your employees are your most valuable asset. Managing your employees or crew will determine how far you will go in this industry. Note that every skill an employee uses will cost varying amounts of money. Alternatively, every employee can also goof off at your expense, getting the job done at no monetary cost. Or at least leave your service by quitting. Quiet quitting. Inspiring and healing your crew at the cost of their termination. Also note, each employee you interview may have unique liabilities. Liabilities range from having helpful quali qualities during encounters to completely de de detrimental flaws that may bring your crew down along with them. Part of your job is to work with what you've got and to make the most of your current crew. But if someone new and better comes along, we trust you to have what it takes to fire and hire as you see it. Upon employee termination, please note that lost employees will be automatically removed from the crew. Rest assured you'll be able to fill that void in your crew in no time. However, if you, the manager, were to succumb to your mortal tendencies, your encounters will automatically end as well. Remember, despite all common morality, self-preservation is key in this industry. <clears throat> Once again, congratulations on making it this far. You are now armed with the knowledge you need to meet the responsibilities and expectations of your new managerial position. Work hard enough and one day you too can make it to the corporate ladder. <clears throat> Taking a good look at the prospective employee, you notice that they have already they already have a name tag. When questioned, they smugly wave it off. Just wanted to prepare myself, you know, mentally for the job offer you're about to make. New employee interview. Position, clerk, liability, loose cannon, increased attack power, no control over employee. Um, pass. The customer is grooving pretty hard to the Muzak on the speakers. It is now 9 a.m. Check store inventory, clean up dry mess. Let's check the inventory. You see a stray box full of products scuttle away. Try to catch it. In the event of infestation. Ooh. Stock product to keep things hidden. Target will evade until damage is taken. Yell at and frustrate your staff to encounter enemy attacks. Do I have any staff? Lock a single attack, minimizing damage. Marks a target guaranteeing hits with higher critical chance. Cost the manager 3 HP can terminate the manager. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do right now. We've got a bit of a earthbound flavor going on. Yeah, <laughs> Faust and me are like 
on the same page here. I guess I should have hired that first person because I have no one now. Did I somehow fail at the first? Oh, never mind. I killed them. Trash found. I took quite a bit of damage there. Something scuttles behind the shelves. It is now 10 a.m. Take out the trash. Trash can is filled to the brim. Take out that trash. Something slimy latches onto you. Attempting to get it off, you splash it everywhere. The crew becomes nauseated. You got two plus two ca uh, cash. The overlay gets in the way of this one. Goodbye. Used to clean up wet messes. Employees tend to go through a lot of these. Can we buy these? Are we selling? Who's buying? Customers groove in pretty hard to the music on the speakers. Take a quick break, gather shopping carts. Uh, take a quick break. There's a brief lull in work for a moment. Check employees. It's just me. Game end. To title? Cancel. Used to clean up wet messes. Employees tend to go through a lot of these. Dry messes. Uh, messes. Um. Did I mess up? How do I hire more people? There's a brief lull. Okay, continue shift. Crew gained plus two HP. The staring contest with the wall continues. It is now 12 p.m. Take out the trash. Sure. Something sharp pricks you. Negative two HP to the crew. You got some trash. Something scuttles behind the shelves. It is now 1 p.m. You should have gotten the loose cannon. Yeah, I am er uh, realizing the error in my uh, ways. Turning around, you see a little kid looking up at you. They're holding a pen and paper. Yo, a new employee? <laughs> I'm doing a school report, so I want to ask, do you like working here? Best job I ever had. Wow, that's the fifth one today. Looking at their paper, you see a few categories with some total tally marks aside them. Thanks for your cooperation. They told me to give people things if they answer, so here. Sugar packet. Nice. The hum of the lights becomes comforting for a moment. Uh, restock the shelves. Find some product that fell behind the shelves some time ago. You got plus one expired energy bar. Yo, this takes me back. I used to work in a corner store during the night shift. No joke. So this was literally me. And yeah, there was expired food in the back. And sometimes I just didn't care. <laughs> Someone in chat is very grossed out, but I still don't care. I'm alive. Somewhere someone yawns way too loudly. Find missing carts. The ghost cart appears before you, peer in. No, I ate it, what, Neville. I wouldn't sell it to someone else. That would be actually against the law. <laughs> like, you know, um, sometimes they'd have uh, the, you know, expired cupcakes or whatever. It didn't look bad. It was, like, recently expired. Those expiry dates aren't for, like, you know, it becomes poison. It's for, like, quality of flavor so that they, they know that the thing tastes exactly the way it's supposed to taste. Um... There is a, you know, at one point a box full of, of uh, rolls, Rolos, you know, the Rolo chocolates. That was a good day. I eat expired foods all the time. <laughs> Yet another fly joins its friends in the heat of the fluorescent bulb. It is now 4 p.m. 
Clean up dry mess. You have one broom. Clean it up. Clean up that mess. It's now 5 p.m. Time to clock out. You got $64. You got industrial cleaner. I was working in the wine shop. I used to survive on expired chorizo and chocolates. All right, we're in the uh, start shift, check on and play back to break room. Oh, this is interesting. I feel like I watched someone play this game. Didn't this game become a full game? Like, isn't there like a full version of this game? One bag full of money. Plus one trash. Requires punch card. What? Usually used for announcements and returns. The customer service desk is a common vantage point for all the goings-ons of the store and is the perfect place to catch up on the local rumors and gossip. The latest story being that someone's been breaking into the employee lockers during work hours but neither taking nor leaving anything. Of course, most rumors point to management for random inspections. What's it called? I'm not sure. Sorry, we are open. Is that really what it's called? That's what this is called. But there was there not a full version? Hold on. Sorry. Sorry, we're open. Is this the game? Planned release date to be determined. Okay. So this is not, maybe, maybe not the game I was thinking of. There's another game called Sorry We're Closed. Is that related? Not at all. <laughs> Although it is also survival horror. Amazing that those two lines kind of lined up like that. Wasn't it, there was a, I swear to God there was a game that was similar to this. Oh, whatever. Um, Start ship clock in Tuesday you sneeze without covering your mouth strangely somebody responds new employee in interview yes custodian liability parent plus one regular attack recovery items moves less effective higher Working minimum wage is just survival horror. Ah. Clean up wet mess. You have one mop. Use it. Clean up the mess. You sneeze without covering your mouth. Find missing carts. You got plus three trash. Ghost cart disappears without a trace. You hear a ringing in your ears. Now it's gone. It is now 1 a.m. I like how being a parent is a liability. That's true. Unattended plastic bag. Look inside. You got ten dollars. Something scuttles behind the shelves. Returning to the customer service counter, you see that someone, somehow a bunch of shopping carts and mannequins from the store floor were placed behind the counter. It's a pretty fragile mess, so removing just one thing will clear it out. Uh, move the carts first. In the event of a cart-related incident. Let's uh, do self-defense training. Um, cleans things up in more ways than one. Leaves a horrible mess, though. I quit. I, um, I, I don't know what just happened. Marks a target, guaranteeing hits. Okay. Leaves a horrible mess. 
Cost the manager 3 HP, can terminate the manager. Let's, uh, let's do our expensive attack. Yo, they became many carts. Oh, there's lots of carts now. I don't I don't think we have to be using those um as much. Let's do Oh, this is custodian. We got it. We got to do an attack. Do um, keep things hidden. Target will evade until damage is taken. This is costing me lots of money. Let's do a goof off. Oh, that was very effective. Cleaner Scorn? What an absurd combat system. Bag with some money found. Bag with some money found. Space behind the counter cleared up for now. Co-workers start passing by. You see them side-eye you as you catch your breath. Someone somewhere lets out a small fart. <laughs> it is now 3 a.m. New employee interview. Bagger. Empathetic. Takes damage. That's a liability. Empathetic. Takes damage for other employees, most likely to be targeted by enemies. That sounds like a win win, honestly. Something scuttles behind the shelves. It's 4 a.m. Take a quick break. Uh, check employees. Do we have any items we could use? Induces a sugar rush along with nausea. Used to gain 15, okay. Alright, I, I thought maybe they have a stun. But I was hoping that maybe they had a heal or something. Continue shift. Crew gain 2 HP. This is actually really neat for a roguelite RPG. You have to balance money with attacking so strat really comes into play. Yeah. This is pretty cool. You got five dollars. You hear a ringing in your ears, now it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> they really have captured the uh, retail experience. New employee interview, yes. Shipping associate. Liability unskilled. No pros, no cons. Hired. You got $64. Start shift. Back to break room. Hello. All right, it just tells us about them. I like how they have we have like animations for everyone. Communal fridge for employee lunches. Zero lunches are returned to the fridge. Vending machine is full. Take a look. Cigarette in the vending machine. Hurts at first but applies health regen. Wow, this is wild. Let's get one of each of those and we'll buy a couple cigarettes. Can be eaten yourself or returned to the fridge. Take it. You got missing packed lunch. TV flickers a familiar flicker. Leave alone. Let's check the garbage. No. So what is this? Where all employees clock in requires punch cards. You might want to fire someone to have room for a healer. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to find a healer, I suppose. 
Start shift. Clock in Wednesday. I feel like um at least me should be represented represented behind the counter. That's why I prefer pineapples on my pizza. You see a few customers and employees stop in their tracks to look at the interview in progress. They look mildly upset, offended even. Mascot. Liability toxic. Will always counterattack. Chance to pass status statuses to target. Sounds good. Max number of employees reached. Fire employee to hire more? Yes. Who do I want to fire? Let's fire the custodian because they have uh they they have less health. Yet another fly joins his friends in the heat of the fluorescent bulb. Clean up wet mess. This game should cooperate with Omega Mart. <laughs> you sneeze without covering your mouth. Find missing cards. Feel a quick jolt of static electricity upon touching the metal. The crew becomes stunned. Bless that ghost cart. Yet another fly? Yep. Find missing carts. Roam the floor. You see an unattended plastic bag. Look inside. You open a pack of cigarettes. You got one cigarette. Nice. See an empty shelf in need of restocking. Sit down and get to it. Unpacked everything with no problems. You got plus three trash. Omega Mart? Um, what is Omega Mart? That sounds familiar. Customers grooving to the music. Notice that large balls from the display cage have gotten loose and are now bouncing all across the store. Following the trail, you see a group of teens taking turns shooting them back into the cage. Join them. Teens cheer as you proceed to make shot after shot, slowly filling up the display cage. They also make themselves useful, fetching the balls scattered across the store. Once you are done, each of them high-fives you and leaves of their own volition. Crew blew off some steam, plus, one, uh, plus health regen. The hum of the lights becomes comforting for a moment. New employee interview. Cashier. Plus one regular attack. Recovery items moves less. Nah. Pass. Omega Mart is an art exhibit exhibition with a supernatural supermarket theme. Is it a game experience or like is this a real thing? Um, clean up a dry mess. Kind of like Welcome to Night Vale, if you know that show. I do know that show. I haven't listened to any of it, but I do know what it is. Staring contest with the wall continues. Find missing cards. You feel a quick jolt and we're stunned again. Mega Mart is a fictional store that sells Euclidean products. They also have an IRL place with events and installations. This is sounding really cool. How do I find out? I guess I'll look it up after our stream is over. Which, by the way, I mean, um, stream has been going for a bit. Uh, I think I'm going to do one more hour, and then we'll end stream. Someone somewhere lets out a small fart. 10 p.m. New employee. Cashier. Couch potato cannot dodge attacks. Recovery items moves more effective. Okay. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, actually. We're going to fire... Um, I think uh, shipping, shipping I think had no redeeming qualities. Symp Symphony of Crickets continues, it is now 11 p.m. Here inside. The company that made it is called Meow Wolf. They do a bunch of weird cool stuff. I have to check this out. Feel a quick good jolt. Wow, that's the third time in a row I've been stunned from the ghost cart. Your eyes close for a moment. You're disappointingly still here. 
Take a quick break. You hear something approach from behind. Turn around. <gasps> Ooh! In the event of an intrusion. Break skin. They hurt my mascot. Uh, lay a fresh one and assault targets with smell. <laughs> one of the stranger perks of the loyalty program blocks for an ally. Yeah, let's let's lay a fresh one. Did not did not work. Someone got a counterattack. Um We're gonna we're gonna yell at someone to counterattack. Goof off. We'll do um, nature calls. Electric mode. Switch your cart to electric mode, making it silent. Makes the user hidden. For fast hands, faster scan. Scan items quicker than the customer notices. Its limbs grasp towards you. I, I think I did pretty well there. Chance to stun. Goof off. Juke, goof off. You paid five dollars for person in a fursuit to fart. True. Do you have any game ideas for if and when there is a stream where the chat plays with you and any ideas of what time or will it be random? Um, let's say I, I was uh, kind of lucky the last couple weeks in that I was able to stream on Saturday, but Saturday is not a terrible time to do a stream like this for, for uh, doing like interacting with chat. Um, Let me think. It could be a Friday. We could do like a Friday night thing. But I guess night is not good for everyone. Friday day is actually like bad for me. So it's more likely to be maybe a Wednesday. Um, so why don't we say tentatively next Wednesday. And we have a couple of candidates for games. We could do Among Us, which sounded just, you know, it's it's innocuous. It's It's fine. Um, I'd, I'd be cool with that. We have Barrow Trauma for uh, people who have that game and also um, like want something a bit more advanced. And when I say a bit more, I mean very advanced. Um, and uh, we also have SCP Breach Contamination as, a, as an option to keep in line with the spooky month. Um, so, hey, but we're talking about like multiplayer games that we could do with chat. Um, I'm open, I'm open to suggestions. I have a lot of, uh, multiplayer games, not all of them, obviously, but, um, feel free to throw ideas in chat. The staring contest with the wall continues. Take out the trash. One, plus one trash. TF2, what a wild suggestion. Sure, that's an option. I'm up to that. Oh, chance, uh, trash has a chance to heal, attack or heal, so I shouldn't actually be getting rid of all of this. So never mind. SCP Secret Lab, you mean? SCP Containment breaches single player. I thought it was multiplayer. So there's SCP Containment Breach Multiplayer. It literally has multiplayer in the name. And then there's SCP Containment Breach Remastered. Um, I'm looking at Steam specifically. Uh, Containment Breach Remastered is a single player game. But there is Containment Breach Multiplayer. 
Uh, Secret Lab always devolves into monkey levels of shenanigans. There's also uh, the optional Space Station uh, 13, which I, I've been kind of meaning to try and, uh, like, figure out. I wouldn't mind trying that. Let me look at Secret Laboratory. I j <laughs> Neville, are we, are we the same person? <laughs> Secret Laboratory looks like it could be fun. Uh, containment breach multiplayer is right up my alley. Let me, uh, throw this, add this to my inventory. This, uh, secret laboratory looks pretty good. Containment breach is definitely a contender. I wouldn't mind trying either of those, and it's, you know, to keep in line with, um, you know, the spookiness. I love SS13. I'm a hell of a clown or bartender. I would uh, I would probably need um, a session of figuring out how that game works before I jump into multiplayer. Is it just like, is it Among Us with a lot more stuff going on? Is it kind of like a Town of Salem, a little bit? Secret Lab is a shitstorm, just a bunch of screaming and memes. Yo, that sounds like algorithm gold, my dude. We could absolutely get that big, simple money with some screaming and memes. Come on, we want to get that big money! What station you play on? Please not splurts. Please not splurts. It is a lot more stuff, like CDDA levels of stuff. Okay, but CDDA is like a punishing on many levels. It's a torment that I... Is SS13 at least, um, like, a bit more... How do I put this? Worth it? Yeah, I don't know. It is very fun, but super hard and complicated. I, I, I would like to do an SS13 stream at some point. So, but uh, what I'm hearing is that is not that. What about Streets of Rogue? How many people have Streets of Rogue? Shipping associate and skilled pass. Something scuttles behind the shelves. Take a quick break. I like this whole like VHS feeling. SS13 is like CDDA with rounds and human interaction now that I think about it. I'm very bad at Streets of Rogue, but I do own it. Yo, he killed with a fart. Uh, do I have no money left? I only have five dollars left. This could be very bad. Bag with some money found. Your eyes closed for a moment. You're disappointingly still here. I like that a lot. I'm really enjoying this coffee right now. How do I use items? Ouch. I should be using trash in combat. You hear a metallic clatter coming from out back. And on investigation, you see that some employee lockers were left open, swinging on their hinges. Following the trail of open lockers, you stumble upon a strange site of worship. You approach with caution. Oh god. They lie in prostration. <laughs> so what game is this? This is Sorry We're Open. This is a demo in the uh, Spectral Mall Showcase.
I feel like if I use the packed lunch, then then something bad happens. Restore health, but causes nausea. Let's do it. Then we're going to use trash. Lots of trash. You got plus one trash. You unravel the trash to find noxious trash. More noxious trash. Ouch. Oh God, it's, it's all going to hell. No, I don't want to goof off. That would be bad. I really am just like using trash right now. Please do more damage than that. Oh. Oh God, Bagger is dead. Okay, I'm gonna have to use the packed lunch. You unravel the trash to find lucky trash. You got two dollars. Five second rule. Jeez, this is not going well, is it? Good thing that you can always hire some meat. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna die very soon. Escape. Attempting to escape. Failed. Well. It's been fun, lads. Consecutive work hours endured seven. Employees lost three. Remember who comes first. This is your first strike. You got $25. I think this is a different game from that game we are, are we're thinking of. What is happening here? Was I able to win that fight, or was that was I meant to lose that? Union card, employee health fund. Learned union skills, CPR training. I look away for three minutes, and now there are two corpses on the floor. Well, that's how that do be how it works sometimes. Bimple is quick, you know? You blink and you miss it. Bag full of money. I wish I could find a bag full of money. Something is wedged among the boxes. You got old warehouse key. Climb inside the box pile? Sure. One lunch is returned to the fridge. Vending machine is full. Take a look. This requires spending actual money, which I don't have a lot of. You gotta goof off more? Goofing off, um, spends 
health, though. Doesn't it make the, the manager use up their... their health? Disposed of for money can also be used in a fight. Well, using trash seemed to, like, really not work at all. So I'm going to sell it for money. If you had more cash, you probably could. I don't understand. How am I? Am I alive or not? No, I'm not. Well, I mean, I am, but... I need more employees. Inter interviewee before you sweat s profusely as they stumble through your questions. However, upon mentioning the final question, a sanguine trail begins to drip from their nose. You, <laughs> Sanguine trail. Determined, they object to stopping the interview. Max HP decreased 40% chance for an extra turn. Sure. I have a very, very weird search history. Oh, yeah? <laughs> hey, you are in retail. It's worse than being dead. Death would be a mercy. Hey, Dimethorn. You're just in time for the end of stream. No, that's not true. I'm, I'm ending in 40 minutes. Alright, goof off. Whoops. So, do I not use this... These skills, goof off. The problem with goof off is it causes me pain. This is the most recent thing I have searched for. How strong acid is needed to dissolve bones? I, I, will, I would not search those kind of things. In fear of uh, be, becoming um, a person of interest. <laughs> just, uh, just saying. <laughs> Redacted. We have a game in a screen, in a screen, in a screen, on a screen. You killed it before it could cause even more pain. Let's just use some trash. Five second rule, yeah, ouch. Does it use, does it use the money if, if they don't take their turn? Also, how do you make, hi I'm not even gonna read these things. You're creating valuable new jobs in your local Federal Bureau of Investigations bot. You make your country proud. Yet another fly joins its friends. Um, for those who have just joined or are coming back, we're talking about multiplayer games that would be fun to play with chat. Um, just, just to put a pin in this right now, I don't think I would want to do uh, invoice. So it would just be me on stream, um, but we would definitely play together. Something like uh, like the things that have been suggested are um, SCP Secret Lab, although Secret Lab is apparently on the Mimi side, um, Containment Breach, um, I think I already said Barotrauma, but Barotrauma Among Us, um, and TF2, Streets of Rogue, I'm open to things. I think Among Us would be like the easiest thing because then we could like have chat interaction 
Um, it would be very easy to do. Runaway carts barreling towards you. Attempt to dodge. Getting us back on track. <laughs> Smooth. Bag with some money is found. The hum of the light becomes comforting for a moment. The large balls from the display cage have gotten loose and are now bouncing all across the store. Join them. We get a bit of a HP regen from this, which is nice. A light fart wafts through the store. <laughs> oh god. Among Us is free. Yeah. I think we could start with Among Us. Oh yeah, and then SS13 was also suggested. I kind of want to try SS13. We could do an Among Us portion and then an SS13 portion. But I, I don't know how to play uh, SS13, so I'd have to learn. Let's do... Well, we already have health regen. CPR training. Oh. I brought it up as a joke. I actually brought it up myself, though. Because I am interested in it. I've been interested in it for a very long time. I just, uh, I know there's a high learning curve. I honestly think, Neville, that Barotrauma is equally madness, but I would also like to learn how to play that game properly. Take a quick break. Check employees. Um, I don't think I don't see this as going very well if I'm being honest. Crew gained two HP. You got five dollars. Why am I getting so little money? Do we have someone in chat who can actually play SS13 like all jobs? Um I am a tan has mentioned that they they play the game, and Faust has mentioned that they are a good bartender and are or clown. Whatever that means. Customer is grooving pretty hard. 4 p.m. Take out the trash. One trash. Sell. Yes. I'm a robust spaceman. Bought me. There seems to be a few people in chat that have played SS13. Take a quick break. Gained. 2, 2 HP. Take another break. Now take up the trash. Ouch. God damn it. Um, find missing parts. Please give me something nice. Vermin jumps out. Negative 2 HP. I really cannot afford to lose any more HP. I'm good at trolling in combat. Don't mess with med or ng. No big, you don't understand, SS13 is a lot more chaotic than Barotrauma. Like, a lot. Sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. Huh? Once took over a station with cleaning bots. Set couldn't get to me because three sectors were covered in soapy water by my cleaning army. I would just cuff people who got near me and throw them out the airlock. What? 
What is SS13? Cool, that actually minimizes the damage taken from Goof Off. Bag with some money was found. Come on, good ghost cart. No! We're stunned, no! It's like D&D &D with zero rules. I'm actually a goon player, I'm very effective at trolling with mining there. Well... Those who are familiar with SS13 are definitely convincing me that Barotrauma might be a better answer. Barotrauma, I believe, is on sale right now. Nope, never mind. It is now no longer on sale. It was $9 as of, like, probably moments ago. <laughs> I, always, I always end up doing this somehow. Um, try it for free. Oh, we could have played it today. Extra Sunday stream for with Barrow Trauma so that everyone can play. Is that is that what I'm hearing? Honestly, guys, tomorrow wouldn't be a bad day for me to do an extra, extra, extra stream. I could even start up Scorn just to just to continue the meme, and we could do Barrow Trauma. The right question is, what isn't SS13? You you make a monkey army of suicide bombers. I uh, don't. I no longer understand what SS-13 is. I thought it was a space station game. Take a quick break. As you let your guard down, you hear something approach from behind. No! No! Damn it! I got instantly jibbed. Am I still on Wednesday? Or am I finally on Thursday? Uh, Somewhat frustrating. Don't I have the key? I thought I got the key. Kind of don't feel like there is more to this. Kind of feel like you're right, actually. I will watch if I can't buy it. Uh, well, Mimesis, if I play tomorrow, uh, which I'm, I'm willing to do, um, we can all play because it's free for the weekend. If you wanted to join us, no pressure. I'm really struggling to remember. There's a game like this, and it's so... Similar, and I just don't remember the name of it. What is this game? What, what is this classified? Sorry, we're open. Procedurally generated horror CRPG roguelite supermarket simulator. Is there a way to look up multiple tags? Where do I do that? The game I'm thinking of is survival horror and an RPG. I'm down, I'm off tomorrow. I, I, I'm, this is so painful, because I know there's a game so similar to this, and I'm just... Maybe this is the game I'm thinking of, but, like, it... Um... Same devs, probably? Maybe you're right. No, it's not the same devs. Because if I click on the devs, they're just... It's just this game that turns up. Um, I'm looking in more like this. Sikaden. Cultivation story, that's not it. 
I feel like it was on HIO for the longest time. Let me do a quick search on HIO. Real quick. I, I know this is becoming a problem now. I'm sorry. But, like, this is really bugging me. <laughs> okay, look at the horror. Okay, roguelike. Ah, no delivery. No delivery. That was the game I was thinking of. Guys, look up, look up no delivery and then tell me that this game doesn't look scarily similar. No delivery is not on Steam, so that's interesting. Oh, it is the same developer. It's just that no delivery is not available on Steam. So this is like the same game. Well, I'm really glad we solve that mystery because damn <laughs> that was really bugging me <laughs> the bear trauma free event was on october 6 what god damn it you're right ended damn it Oh my god. Bimple blundered. Okay, so that means there's basically no reason to play tomorrow, but I could still do that. Um, I might actually have an extra code for Baratrauma, and I know I've like completely halted stream right now, but let me have a look in my bundles. Let me see if I have an extra code for Baratrauma. It's one of those games that's been given away a lot, and yet I don't have an extra code. I thought I did. Okay. Sorry, Mimesis. Can't you look it up? It, or is it the same game? I don't know. It's like the same game, but Pizza Place. Odd. Sorry, Mimesis. Um, yeah, the Barotrauma is not free this weekend. I, I completely messed that up. Um, kind of don't want to do more of this. I feel like if I stopped now, we might have time for something else. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's stop this. I uh, fun, nice nice uh, experiment. I I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. I won't call that a miss, but I would say it's the closest to a miss that we've seen in the Spectral Mall so far. No, no, no. Diamond Thorn is freaking forty dollars. Don't don't do that. It, it it just went on sale for nine. Oh, you know what? Let me let me let me have a cursory glance. Hold on a second. Okay, um I don't condone this wink, uh but it is much cheaper uh, from other sources. I can buy a barrow next Sunday. You don't have to be okay. Save your money. Well, let's let's see what happens. We'll we'll we can we can do something tomorrow. At the very least, I'll do um we'll do it. We'll have an Among Us section tomorrow for for those who do not have Barotrauma, and then we'll have a Barotrauma section. Ten dead doves. That sounds like collecting things and then being chased by a monster. I'm kind of very done with that. Nowhere. Miami. Oh, I've I've heard of this one, and this is another game I can't play. Be knighted. Okay, that sounds like fun. Let's do that. I'll tell you what, lads. I have an idea. 
Um, I, I mean, I get supported from the coffee. Why don't we could do like a communal chip in? And then, uh, like I can, I can, I can buy it. That way, we keep it cheap for all of us, and then I'll, I'll throw a key at Mimesis. B knighted is kind of meh. Oh my god, that looks cool. A bee is stranded in a hunter's trap during an intense thunderstorm. Meet friends and foes, discover treasures and traps, traverse the dangerous caverns. Um, if it's displaying incorrectly, that's... Jesus, is loud. Hold on a second. I'll, I'll, I'm just going to try it. I'm a 10. If it's not great, then I'll... I'll 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 kill it. Beyond the guarded walls of marbled spires and lofty keeps, an elder wood waxes upon an earthen throne. Don't don't worry about it, Mimesis. We got you. Bearing a spiked crown atop a leafy brow and drinking of the rivers tainted by eons of strife. It is an age of untamed wildness, of danger and discovery. Or we'll draw more fan art for next week. Yo. Yo, that's pretty good. This is some high quality jank. Yeah, no kidding. By the way, I know it's displayed incorrectly right now. You're pretty much looking at what I'm seeing. <laughs> this game reminds me of Shrek. Yeah. I see it. Um, the reason I wanted to try this is it looked like some, like, pretty good, um, uh, N64 vibes. Like, classic, uh, classic kind of platforming business. Get your bee puns, lads and lasses. That's quite the jump, I gotta say. Yo, we Zelda now. Welcome to the demo for Be Knighted. Here are a few actions you can perform to get you started. B can hover for a short time by pressing spacebar or Y. Pressing the key button again while hovering will end the, the hover early. 
You can interact with objects and char uh, characters using E, but watch out, not all creatures are friendly. If you get into trouble, dash away with the right click. You can view the controls again. Okay, well, I mean, that's fine. Some friendly characters might give you valuable information to point you on your way if you talk to them more than once. Thanks all for now. Yo, I'm gonna be careful. Hello. Ouch. Okay, I can't do anything to this lad yet. So we are going for classic Zelda vibes. I was expecting Mario for some reason. Mario? She's got a big behind. Oh yeah, we we Zelda for sure. Chamber of Conquest. Even the the downward C the down C button is is a nice little touch. Gaze and wonder at the spoils of conflict garnered by the bugbear ant monarchs of old. But the be wary of tooth worms. The bee can walk quietly by holding shift or left trigger and climb some surfaces by interacting with them while on the ground. These voices, voice sounds don't fit at all. Yeah, I kind of get it. I know, I, I see what you're coming from. The animations are, like, delightfully jank as well. Oh god. Um, so I'll tell you a story. I owned the original Orcarina of Time. Like, you know, Zelda, Zelda on N64, the first one. And I couldn't play it. Like, I did, I basically did not get far in it at all. Because I was too scared. I was a very, like, scared, um, wow, I really wish those were telegraphed a bit better. Um, I was a very scared gamer as a kid. Couldn't, couldn't play anything with, like, monsters in it. Um, and, like, for some reason, like, specifically... I, I really don't like that, actually. N64 games specifically really scared me. Um, there was a few games on the PS1 I couldn't play either. Obvious ones, like Silent Hill, of course. Although I think that's a PS2 game. But also... Things like, uh, there's like a Nightmare Creatures was pretty scary for me. Couldn't play that. I even, um, I, I don't know if I've told this story before. I actually stopped playing Diddy Kong Racing because there's a track that had a dinosaur. P oh my god. Yo, I kind of don't like the controls in this game. I ain't gonna lie. Um... I had to stop playing Diddy Kong Racing because there's a dinosaur footprint. And I was like, nope. Nope, I don't want to see dinosaurs. They're going to be scary. They're going to be big old scary dinosaurs, and I don't want that. So that's that'll tell you what kind of um, gamer I was as a child. As a wee young lad. I am beginning to not like this. What do you call a bee with messy hair? A frisbee. That was a joke. Please laugh. Ha ha. Yo ho ho ho. Yo. Some real uncanny valley stuff. 
I've never played Zelda. I did play quite a lot of Majora's Mask, even though in some ways it's a scarier game than the original Orc Arena, and in some ways not. I don't know. It depends on how you how you look at it. Oh, we got Dark Souls shortcuts, huh? Ba 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 ba. Um, I I had to stop playing Majora's Mask for a different reason, which was that uh, when they wanted me to go into the ocean. The, uh, there's a there's a part where they're like, and now you must go into the ocean because the ocean temple. And I'm like, nope, <laughs> no thanks, buddy, not doing that. You can you can f right off with that business. Not doing ocean because I I was I really did not like anything water based as a kid. I didn't even like Donkey Kong Country. Where you, when you play the water levels, I that was like how much I hated water, any kind of deep ocean stuff as a kid. I kind of got over it. Um, Link to the past always has a place in my heart. The randomizer fun, running is fun too. I've never played any randomizer. I wouldn't mind trying. Oof. Can I go through here? No. Yeah, the voices are kind of off. It is B Zelda. Some from that to playing Subnautica. I know, right? Honestly, I I've owned Subnautica for a long time. Maybe a year after it like came out of early access. I I I've owned it since then, and it only only recently because y'all requested it did I actually crack it open. Because I was not excited to play a game where you had to do like deep diving and there were like creepy fish monsters. Was super not excited for that. I just knew it was going to be a game that was pretty stressful for me. And I was like saving it for a rainy day. So when y'all suggested, hey, by the way, Subnautica, I was like, you know what? That's a good, this is a good time to try it. I will travel back into the past to give you a copy of Subnaut- Wow. Maybe you already did, I'm a tan, and that's why I am afraid of water, because you traumatized me. Can't believe you did that, I'm a tan. Rude. Very bold of, uh like direction for this game to give me no jump but like a really crappy hover don't know how i feel about it it feels not good i'll say that much like it does not feel good to hover in this game Hush. Um, anyone in, anyone, like, fully played KOTOR in chat? Oh, hello, friend. You look terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. Who's there? Stay away, lest this foul curse seduce you as well. Is this game, like, Zelda meets Dark Souls? It really does kind of have a little bit of a Dark Souls vibe. Oh, to have had all aspirations dashed to the enfeebling spores. I don't know, something about that just reeks of, like, wannabe Dark Souls in a not good way, if I'm being honest. She really can't fly with that fat behind, I guess. Laws of avionics do be working. <laughs> you should leave this place. My body has been consumed by the vile spores, and soon the mind shall follow. Oh, has he got that, uh... What do you call it? Oh, he's an aspirant. What's that, uh, what's that mushroom called that infects an ant and or a bug and then, and, like, drives them insane and then, like, eventually takes over their brain? Shall not wish to disgrace myself further by bringing harm to one who is not an er, adversary. If only you possess the means to defend yourself, I would beseech you to call for a duel to end my suffering. Okay, I need, I need a way to defend myself. Can't cut those. 
So I need... I need a weapon. Um, those of you who have played KOTOR, you might remember that there is a scene where you have to go underwater and uh, fend off sharks for a very brief time. It's a super, super tame part and it's very dumb and linear, but I was terrified. <laughs> Absolutely did not, was not excited to do that. Hated that. Ophio, Ophio Cordy, Cory Decept. Oh, that's a mouthful. Okay, so where are we going? Is there, did, did like, did Bimple miss a door again? What the heck are you, bud? <laughs> At last, I've made it under Ant Fort. No, but if I could just break free of this troublesome sediment. Mm. Oh, a bee, hello. Ab uh, hello, a bale. What? As you can see, a bale. I've gotten myself between a rock and a hard place. Could you? Here's some blast pods. Could you toss one my way? You got some blast pods. These seed pods explode after a short time. Don't get caught in the blast zone. To equip blast pods, press right on the D-pad or two to equip the pods. Appreciate ya. Oh, and uh, heh, don't mind me. The impact of the blast can't dull the luster of my whiskers. Wow, 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 wow. Is this more blast pods? Free at last. Now I can begin planting, planning the heist. Thanks a lot, Abel. The name's Louis Le Camber... Why, why, why? Louis, then. Treasure connoisseur. Say, what brings a bee like you down into these musty old caverns, anyway? These pots respond for some reason. You can give the key to Neville if he wants it more. Wait, what? Does Neville not have a barotrauma? He doesn't have it either? Mm. He must be from that hive that was smashed up by the troll earlier. Well, t tell you what, since there's multiple people in chat that don't have it, why don't we do a barotrauma segment tomorrow with people who have it? And then the people who don't have it can make up, like, you know, d decide if it's something they'd like to join in on. What a shame, so much golden gooey goodness dashed upon the dirt. Because he likes the tree, the cheese, the trees, the cheese. Can't see the forest for the cheese. Tell you what, Abriel, uh, Abiel, I just so happened to spy a chunk of your hive land near the bugbear ant fort above us. Trouble is, naturally, the fort is guarded by ants that don't know. Sorry, should I be doing a very cheesy, cliched French accent? Trouble is, uh, naturally, the fort is guarded by ants that don't know the first thing about diplomacy. You'll have to be careful to get through there unnoticed. <laughs> I don't have barrel also because it's hard to buy keys, but I think I know a way. While you do, any distractions you make will draw their eyes away. From my own escapades. <laughs> you know, it must have been fate who brought us together. Partner, you go on ahead. I'll follow up the rear once I've finished with some plans. I mean, with a rear like this, you could go anywhere and follow it. How do I... No. I don't want to have the thing equipped anymore. There we go. Cambriolure means burglar, by the way. Okay. Ha ha ha, yeah. Mon ami, you get the French cheese and the bread. Oh. And then I turn into Watto from the, the movies. Oh.
French sword. Where can I get such a device? It's a French word for local. Oh. Is this what I need? No. Mm, the bimple, he, he loses his mind. Very slowly, France. He does it. Does a thing to him. Turns into to a pumpkin. Oh no! Hello. What's this? A bee? Have you gotten lost? There were respawning pots and flying orbs room for some reason. Have you gotten lost? Or might? You be a warrior. Some come to claim the treasures of Queen Antila. Antila. Ant Antila? Antalia. Antalia. Oh my god. Really making use of that. <laughs> I've seen a warrior in you, be <laughs> No matter. I can hardly claim as such. Confined to guarding the stocks and not joining the Queen's hunt. You can't say I don't get my money's worth from these PNGs. I really do be getting the most out of these pings. What? what? Money? Chat wonders? What do you mean money? Well, yes. I, see, I commissioned all of these PNGs. They all, they all cost me money. What? Really? Yeah. I mean, I commissioned myself. And it cost me time. Time is money, and I pay myself an exposure. So. Who really owes who Barotrauma now? <laughs> Tax deductibles! I don't know. What did he say? Can you give me a weapon? Give me a weapon. Laid eyes on the outcast, that doddering and pathetic slack who besmirches the ant's warrior's code. Shut out from ant fort above, the disgrace himself and his rotting carapace nurtures the spores. His senses are dulled, and he leaves himself vulnerable when attacking. It will be his defeat. Why, even as delicate a being as you might stand to, cha ch stand to challenge him if you are keen and nimble, he should be picked off as a flea. Best avoid skulking with his lot. Well, can you give me a weapon? I... The rending of the soil can be heard nearby. No doubt a tunneling beast lurks in the caverns. A, truth, a toothworm, or perhaps something more deadly. Strident horn of battle calls, and yet I languish here. In these quescent... Quescent tunnels! <laughs> I am French as well. I... I do need a weapon still. Steal your sword! No, I will steal your sword! It is mine now. Yo, dude, can you give me a thing? Anything? And keep the blast pods. Oh, is it the pods that I use? To... Destroy that man. <sighs> you know, seeing them honeycombs on the left side there, top left side, really does uh, give me a hankering. I will say. You. There we go. Yo, that was not okay. Is this our main form of attack right now? It's kind of not okay. <laughs> um, gives me a hankering for a certain barren bird. 
Sapphire gem fruit, nice. Many creatures will accept gem fruits as currency, so line your pockets when you can. Sapphire gem fruits carry the value of five ruby gem fruits. Okay. What the heck is this ant even shading their eyes from? She beauty, she is grace, she sting you in the face. <laughs> Yikes forever. <laughs> Honestly, this looks like a character from a, a certain Baron Bird game. She'd be like, "What? You don't? You don't like that? You don't want more of that?" Um, how do I get back to the Ant Man? <gasps> Ant Man, starring Paul Rudd. Heck yeah, Ant-Man. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My dad, once again, got stuck in the eye by a bee. I can still... I still can't stand the things. I got stung by a bee a few years ago. And it, it happened a few years ago and I'm still mad. Because, like, I didn't deserve it at all. And I didn't notice the bee. I was just kind of walking... I was walking home from... Um rock climbing actually and uh does that thing respawn and uh just like severe pain in my in my ankle like very suddenly and uh i look down and there's this little jerk what you got a sapphire gem fruit cool And uh, my greatest regret, honestly, is like not in that moment stomping the absolute bejesus out of that jerk. Listen, I'm not a man of violence necessarily, but I was just so mad. This thing, like I did nothing. I didn't even notice it. So whatever grievance it had with me was unwarranted. And it just, it stung me in the an ankle. I was just like, you... Sting me once, and death on you, my dude. And I, I, I just didn't- I was so, like, aghast. Like, how dare you? And by the time I was, like, ready for violence, it had flown away. Technically, most ants are women. I thought there was only one woman ant. I thought there was only one woman ant. And then all of the rest were... Mance. How was I led astray? Where is their dude? Where is the dude? Oh, go away. Someone else agitated it and called it out to her. Lady bees actually control the hive as well. Really? Again, I thought there was only the one lady bee. Floating orbs in a room. I don't know what you mean by that. Also, I don't know where that is. I will try and find floating orbs in a room. Regrowing pots in orb. I'll try and find it. Here we go. Okay. This is not the guy. This is a different guy. I'm very lost. Okay, let's go up. Sorry, chat. It's, it's probably a very simple solution and I'm not finding it right now. 
Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, I see, I gotta do both at once. I can only do two at once. Oh, I see, I see. I see now. So I'm assuming I need to do all three at once here. So these stay on a little bit longer. Um, the controls in this game are bad. I'm gonna say this. I, I don't like the controls at all. <sighs> Can I do two at once? No. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, like, if this is the answer, but I, I hate this. Actually. A hundred percent hate these controls. Hundred percent. Okay. I'm pressing the bomb button. Do I not have any more bombs? I don't have any more bombs. Oh, cause I can run- I didn't realize that those were bombs I was collecting. Didn't really feel this game. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not feeling it right now. Am I like, am I actually on the right path here? I have to like hit all of these things at once with no weapon, by the way. No, that counts. That should count. I did it. Enough of this. Please. So, can I not... I gave up at this point and moved to another game. I, I understand why. I understand why. I don't know if I have the correct answer here, but it, if I do, then I don't like this. You can't do more than one bomb. You can't hit you, your B and you can't sting. <laughs> um, and there's a delay between like picking something up and then throwing it, so... I don't think you can actually light up two of these at once. No, I don't think it's possible. I feel like there's something else I, I don't understand. Why do the bombs make a chicken noise when they blow up? I don't know. Um, I'm like very close to giving up on this. I, I still want to find the stupid ant that is spored. Oh, here we go. Are we Scorn? I gotta say, um, making bombs the first item and your only weapon is a bold 
note bad choice. There really is a lot of Dark Souls in this game. <laughs> it's subtle, but it's it's there, undeniably. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. I mean, I can go down here. I don't know why I would want to. Oh, I see, because there's like ticks down, or um... Really? Really? In case I run out of bombs, which is very likely, considering how liberally they want me to use them. Oh, you can actually hurt people by throwing these at them. Oh, this, um... This game is making some choices. Random take. My... Should she no sting you in the face instead attack you with cactus? Uh, my coworkers would never respect me if they knew how many games I play. It's expected that you never play games when you work, when your work is math. Cool. Exactly enough time, exactly enough time, just, just to barely not work, because the animation for the bomb is almost as long as, this is awful, this is actually, like, awful. I'm, I'm really not a fan of this, any of this. You're supposed to like it's it's almost a scorn boss all over again. You have to like fake some attacks so that you can hit him. Yo, I hit him there. I don't know how how many times I got to hit this guy, but too many is my answer. Yo, I... Freaking hell, man. About all games being great, sorry, other games kind of blinded me a little. <laughs> no worries. They can't all be winners, and I mean, I hate to t dunk on someone's game. Um, you know, like, I'm. this game has every potential there's that word again, to be decent, to work, you know, to, to have goodness in it. It's rough right now. Okay, are you gonna, you better give me that weapon, I swear to God. Well fought, B. Thank you for granting me an honorable end. If it would serve you, please take up my blade. Okay. Grass blade. It's not as sharp as you had hoped. Equip it by pressing on the D-pad. Okay. I, you know what? You you pissed me off. I, I'm not gonna read your ending words. I'm stuck with the bomb. Okay, cool. Here we go. Grass, grass uh, sword. Shame on them for thinking that way. That should not be a thing. Smart people can be gamers too. That is weird.
I write code for 12 hours a day unless it's stream day, so there's not much else to say. Um... So I guess at this point I could probably go back to the orb room and actually do it now. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna end the stream. Because I want closure on that stupid room. I hate that room. Can I just say... I know this is not fair. I also hate the dodge animation. <laughs> it didn't work, but it did work. Okay. Just a, a berry. Here it is. Berry. Royal jelly piece. Collect three in total and add another segment. Okay. If I was smart, I'd have money. I'm somewhat dedicated to writing code. A game, I guess this game isn't far at all from being good. It really needs some polish, though. Are oh, you saying it's not that far from being good? Yeah, like, there's this game has the potential to be good. Definitely rearrange some stuff. Like, I understand they were like, oh, we don't want to just be Zelda, so we're not going to give you the sword right away. And, um, we'll, we'll give them bombs at first. Sure. Um,. But, like, I don't think it works. And also, if you're just going to have the bombs, the same exact mechanics. Cool. Then, uh, then it doesn't matter in what way you delivered them. It's going to feel like a car carbon copy, so just kind of own it, I think. I, I feel like, um, things just kind of feel a little bit too carbon copied to Zelda right now. I, I don't think this game really has much to say for itself right now, other than that. And, like, spiritual uh, successor to Zelda is not really good enough, in my opinion. I'm not saying, like, it's it's not good enough for me. I'm saying it's not good enough for itself. You know, like, if you want to... There's every potential to be a better game than Orcarina of Time. Orcarina of Time is not a perfect game. It's flawed. And I think if you want to be a successor, you can be a successor very easily. Well, maybe not easily, but you can be a successor without um, being a carbon copy. Do better is a, comes to mind. Rear path has been caved precisely as ordered. Ant Fort has enough enemies without that it needs no more within. What's that? You with your gossamer frame and a chipped and tarnished blade passing through? You'll sooner end up on a trencher for a feast. I hope we play Nowhere Michigan or that Jabbler game. Yeah, I mean at this point I'm I'm committed enough to um Spectral Mall that I'll I I I, I see myself playing the whole thing now. We <laughs> even... Okay, I mean, that's cute. What the heck was that? I like the fog of war. That's a nice touch. Are you a bad guy? You are a bad guy. Yo, yeah, this combat is abysmal. It feels so bad. What was that? Why did he act like he was stunned? Just, like, make him explode into parts. What? What's... What? Why are we suddenly uh, PG-13 about this? That was... That... I'm sorry, maybe I'm nitpicking this game at this point? Oh, 
Oh, we have uh, some fun frame drops right now. Making metallic clangs. I mean, that's fine. So one of the few things I don't dislike right now. Ouch. Ouch. Good luck avoiding these drops, by the way. Maybe I should have, like, sprinted through that, but... Yo, it's Larry the the lobster. Classic. It appears Antonio has caught an intruder. A shame the feast has already begun and the fires are cooling. Best leave the table scraps to her. Antonio, throw this one into the oblate. Obliet. Obliet. Oh good, spider friend. So you're awake, I see. Looks like they caught you too. Welcome to Ant Fort Prison. The food's well. You. Whoa, hey, chill out. It was just a joke. Listen, there's no way out of here that doesn't lead to a painful death. The ants don't kill you, starvation, or the fungus will. Don't get me wrong. The ants are only keeping me alive to repair their battle gear, though who knows how long that will last. Hey, you want to repair my sword? It's just no way I see you getting out of here in one piece. Front gate and the donjon. <laughs> the donjon. Is a donjon a real word? It takes a whole team of ants to get that gate open, even when it's pouring rain. I shouldn't need to mention it, but there's no way the queen will let you escape through her room. Repair my sword. Hmm. Why wouldn't I pick up a needle at this point? Or one of those battle suits? <sighs> also, what's... Are, oh, there's a... Oh, these are mushroom lads. I keep expecting this demo to end. Hence why I haven't stopped stream already. Oh, excuse me? You can swim across? Oh, god damn. What are we doing here? Oh, do I have to hit these mushrooms to make them flat? No, I have to go near them. And then they will go flat. And then I can... Ah... Can I do that? I mean, kind of a cute mechanic. Donjon, a massive inner tower in a medieval castle. Why did they have to make the game so political with male ants everywhere? So unrealistic. Jesus. I've got the feel, like, the look and feel of this game is really well done. Um, everything kind of feels like a semi-carbon copy of Zelda. And I really, I, I gotta say, I don't mean that as a compliment. Also, how? Oh, I see. So, okay, I use the I use the bomb. 
I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there. Okay. I get it. Don John feels French. Like, a lot of the look of this game is really on point. It does kind of feel a little bit Banjo-Kazooie. It feel- the f feeling is very nostalgic. But, some of the gameplay is a little bit meh. Okay, I was expecting a key. Oh, am I supposed to go over there? How does one get over there, you think? I'm out of bombs. Um, I also think that bombs being an, any kind of scarce resource is dumb, especially when they're just giving me bombs whenever I need bombs. Just make bombs infinite. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about that one, but it, I don't know, it just feels weird. Especially when they're required for basically every major puzzle. Man, I'm really ripping on this game, aren't I? Oh, I, I think I understand. Okay, I gotta I gotta do both. Hold on a second. Can I use that to proc the mushroom? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, okay, this is what we're doing. I guess it's pretty engaging. Okay, that's not what we need to do. No! Oh no, the game crashed. Oh no, the game didn't crash. I shouldn't lie. <sighs> um, that's gonna do it for stream. I'm sorry that uh, maybe the last segment um, pooped the bed a little bit. But, um, you know, sometimes it do be like that. That is the nature of stream and uh, trying lots of things. Uh, so I'm going to put myself in front of something I want to try in the next time, the next time I play Spectral Mall. I can't remember, am I going the right way at all? No, I'm not. You almost got me there, Bimple. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, fear the spotlight. We'll do that next. Alright. Well, chat, it's been a fun day. We beat Scorn. We played Sagebrush. I really enjoyed both of those. I have reservations about both. Find big Korean words. Okay. <laughs> 